The Regal Akita has made a name for itself as an incorruptible guardian. These dogs seem to have an uncanny ability to read people's intentions and will not hesitate to defend their owners should the needs arise. But can this strong-willed, independent Japanese guardian be trusted around children and other pets? Well, in today's video, we're going to see how well the Akita is suited as a playmate for children and other animals in the household. Welcome back to the Fenrir Akita Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will, I'm a canine behaviourist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything that you could ever want to know about the amazing Akita, then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect Akita companions. So if you love the Akita as much as we do here at Fenrir, start by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future Akita video. So let's dive into today's video. We'll take a good look at the Akita's suitability as a family guardian. Is this powerful dog a gentle protector or a deadly menace? Let's begin with a brief glimpse into a little known detail of this fascinated breed's history as that will really help us answer this question. Now, most friends of the breed are familiar with the Akita's past as guard dogs and hunting dogs for the ruling class of ancient Japan. Agile and fearless, Akitas were used on hunting expeditions by their owners, the Shogun. Their job was to track and apprehend large and dangerous game like bears, elks and wild boars. However, in Japan of the 1600s, the cruel blood sport of dogfighting became wildly popular, and the Akita was the breed of choice for these violent matches. To create better fighting dogs, the original middle-sized Akita Inu was crossed with giant breeds like the Japanese Mastiff, that's also known as the Tosa Inu. And during the Second World War, breeders mixed German Shepherds into the Akita to save it from imminent extinction. All this led to a mixed breed dog who was considerably taller and heavier than the Akita Inu, also known as the Japanese Akita. These heavier dogs became the base breeding stock for the American Akita that we have, know and love today. So then, that Akita today, are they a family pet or still a dangerous predator? Well, the Akita is a superb natural guardian and personal protection dog who does not need training to defend its own. This strong protective instinct runs in the American and the Japanese Akita, and quite naturally, this instinct to guard encompasses every human or animal whom the Akita regards as their own. Of course, this does require the dog to be diligently socialised with anyone in the household. Familiarising the dog with all the humans, pets, and, if present, farm animals is absolutely vital. If this is not done, serious accidents can and do happen, such as the dog misinterpreting livestock as prey animals, or in the worst case, the dog hurting a small child whom it is rarely ever seen. After all, Akitas were bred as hunting dogs for centuries, and to this day they are born with a keen prey drive. Because of their hunting instincts, they tend to see smaller pets like rodents, birds, and sometimes even cats as something to chase after, capture, and kill. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to interrupt and let you know about our boot camp program if you've never heard of it before. It's the program that as a canine behaviorist, I use every single day with all of the clients and all of the bad behavior cases that I work with to high levels of success. It is focused on teaching you how to become a high level canine leader that is able to restructure the relationship with your dog so that they see you as that leader and they know to look up to you for guidance and direction. When we achieve that, we can then finally address those bad behavior problems and get to the point of having the perfect canine companion that you've always dreamed of. So if you want more information about our bootcamp program, the link will be down in the description box below. But until then, let's get back to the video you were just watching. Now, of course, their past as fighting dogs is not helping today's Akitas to coexist peacefully with other canines in the same household either, which is why Akitas are said to do best in one dog households. In their temperament, these Japanese hunters are very cat-like, aloof, stubborn and strongly independent. And just like cats, they do not appreciate children or other pets suddenly grabbing them or even worse, trying to jump on their back. Such behaviour can trigger aggressive reactions, unless the dog has been very much used to it from early puppyhood onwards and lives with an incredibly high level canine leader that can keep it under control at all times. So then, who should own an Akita? Well, like I just said, strong, firm and diligent early socialisation with incredible leadership is not an option with this breed, and neither is training in obedience and manners. 
An expert canine leader who can provide proper guidance to the dog will be able to get the very best out of this exceptional breed. But in the absence of such a person, the Akita will take over the leadership position in the household. And as such, a strong, powerful dog in the driver's seat is an accident waiting to happen. And many accidents do happen. Akita's biting strangers or even family members without apparent reason is a common issue that as a canine behaviourist I have come across time and time again. However, there usually are always reasons behind such attacks and quite often it has to do with the dog deciding it's time to protect their owners, even from their owner's own wife or their owner's children, which is where these disasters stem from originally. So again, to avoid this, the Akita has to be led by an experienced dog handler. With the proper training and socialization, you can make life with an Akita as safe as possible for your children and for other pets in the household. To achieve this, however, you should absolutely get a puppy. You do not know what behaviors and situations will trigger your new adult Akita if you've adopted one, and you do not want to gamble with the safety of your children or your other pets in this scenario. And this does therefore bring us to the end of the Akita's suitability as a family companion and their ability with other animals. As we saw, these natural guard dogs are potentially not the best choice for families with young children, other dogs or other small pets. However, with good leadership and socialisation, Akitas can become loyal and reliable family guardians who will protect every child and pet in their care, but it is not a task to be taken lightly. If you did enjoy this video and found it helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. And again, don't forget, subscribe and turn on the notification bell as we've got two dedicated Akita videos coming to this channel every single week. And I cannot wait to speak to you on the next episode of the Fenrir Akita Show.